Hi, I'm Care from Care's Bakery in Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm going to show you how to make a really simple fondant recipe. Um, this recipe is a little bit different than traditional fondants, so I wouldn't recommend using it for um, icing a cake, but it's great for making chocolate with a, like a creamy center or chocolate covered cherries or some other type um, of candy where you want a nice creamy center as the filling. Okay, so to make the fondant, all we're going to do is take uh, one stick or half, half a cup of melted butter, unsalted. This is one can of sweetened condensed milk. It's a 14 ounce can. and a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Now what the cream of tartar does is it actually will um, help the sugars in the confectioner's sugar reform so they're smaller and that'll give you a smoother fondant as an end result. So we're just going to mix this up together a little bit and then we're going to add the sugar. Okay, now we're going to slowly add one bag or two pounds of confectioner's sugar. And you want to start slow, otherwise you're going to get it in your face. Okay, let, just let this go for about a minute and it should come together pretty quick into um, kind of like a Play-Doh consistency. So this is what the fondant looks like after you take it out of the mixer. Um, and you want it to be pretty stiff and pliable, but not too sticky. If it's too sticky, um, just add a little bit more confectioner's sugar until it feels um, kind of like, like a Play-Doh. We're just going to form it into a ball, just like that, and we're going to wrap it up. So now your fondant is all wrapped and it's all set. All you want to do is put it in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours and then take it out and let it come back to room temperature before you're going to use it.